Hello and welcome to another vlog. This one is about Mother's Day. Now you've heard of the saying, it's the thought that counts. That's right, it's the thought that counts, not, oh, it's the thought that counts. Do you see the difference? Now, the way I interpret, oh, well, it's the thought that counts, means you haven't really put a lot of thought into the present and you've given this hoping that the recipient is going to like what you've picked out. Now, this can be an inexpensive gift or this can be the most expensive gift or anything like that or anything in between. However, if the recipient is grateful, which I'm sure they are, to receive this lovely gift, if it's just going to sit there, that means inexpensive, in, um, expensive, or any anywhere in between, it's not going to be utilised because maybe the next time when you come, it will just be sitting there. So what we really, what I really like to do when I choose a gift is I really want the recipient to use the gift. So I really try to think about what that person likes. Um, did I hear anything that I think, oh, and it's stuck in my memory. Oh, I remember them saying that they like that. Or I'm saying that they want, I remember them saying that they wanted one of those. And I don't mean a gift that someone needs in the sense that, uh, um, oh, I, I need, um, I don't know. Oh, I need a new dishcloth or uh, I need a new scouring pad, or, you know, I'm not saying that that's what they're saying, but, you know, it, it shouldn't be something that they've run out of, or that they, you know, need in order to utilise around the house, or something like that. What I'm saying is a gift, as in something that perhaps they wouldn't buy themselves, and um, because some people don't think that they should treat themselves, or they see something as a little bit too extravagant, or sometimes they put other people first, and they just don't think, you know what, I deserve this, I should buy this for myself. That's where you come in. And you will buy your mother that gift that she always thought, do you know what, um, I, I really want this gift, but oh, I have to think about this person, I have to think about that person. But you're going to think, no mum, today is your day and here is your gift. So I've come up with a few ideas that I hope may be useful to you. And I hope that you come up with some ideas. Um, I love having conversations. I've had conversations on a few of my other vlogs. And I really like talking to you guys. So if there is anything that you want to talk about. If there's anything more that you want to know that I can incorporate or talk about. Or maybe I've forgotten to add something or say something. Please leave it in the comments section. And I will try and answer them as best I can. Um, I really like having those conversations. Um... And it would be nice to hear from you. So that being said, let's get on with this. So one of the ideas that I thought about, which I've used a couple of times, is um, photo presents. I And I don't mean, I don't necessarily mean a photo of yourself or a photo of your mother or, you know, those types of photos. I mean, photo of the grandkids, most definitely. But I'm talking about something like a photo that you've taken and your mother really likes that photo. Oh, you know, you're flipping through the album. Oh, yeah, I really like that. I say flipping through the album, but now it's it's flipping through your phone pictures or flipping through your, you know, iPad pictures. I'm doing it as a as a photo album. But sometimes, you know, that you come across a picture that your mother has taken or that you've taken or that a family member has taken and your mum really likes that photo. But you can get that photo done as a canvas. And I think that's such a good idea to um, get a photo done as a canvas that can be hung up on the wall. And it's so much more personal if you've taken the photo or your mother's taken the photo or a family member has taken, you know, a sibling, a cousin, aunt. If somebody else has taken that photo, it means something. There is feeling behind it. I took a photo and I really loved it and I made it into a coaster. So here is a prime example. Um, the reason why I love this photo, there's a, co <laughs> what's there not like, yeah? There's a cocktail, there's sand, there's sea, there's sun. You can tell that the sun is out. And that, that's what I love about this photo. So why not make, 
you know, I'm not saying make a coaster, but you, there are other photo gifts that you can make. There are, uh, like I say, canvases, acrylics, uh, magnets. Uh, I love the magic mugs. You know the magic mugs? They're black, and then as you pour a hot drink in, it, in them, the pictures all magically appear. Love those mugs. Um, I made a couple of them for my nephews, and my nephews absolutely love um, those magic mugs. So much so that one of them broke the handle and he asked if I could get him another one and I did. I even got them a coaster with uh, a photos that I'd taken of them you know at the beach and so on and they really liked that idea so I think it's a really thoughtful idea and again can be as expensive or in as inexpensive as you want to make it. Um, you Again you can get beach towels or cushions or blankets anything like that and I think that, you know, the possibilities are endless. Now, there are a few websites that you can use. I know uh, Photobox, Snapfish, Vistaprint, all of those. I'll link some in the description below. Um, and then you can visit them and you can choose. If, if that's the idea that one of the ideas that you choose to go with, you can see their prices and see what, you know, is best for you. Another time I made an album. I made a, a picture album for different members of my family and they really uh, liked that idea. Um, so yeah, so that's idea number one. Um, another idea, we are in lockdown and we can't go anywhere, we can't really do anything. We can go for our daily walks to the park and things like that. But um, if your mother is an avid reader, my mum's an avid reader, um, and you know the types of books that they like. A book is a great present. I, I mean, if somebody bought me a book that I had been thinking about, I mean, Mark's bought me a few books um, that I've spoken about or talked about, and I loved getting those books. Um, I'm going to show you an example of a book that he bought me, actually, because I've got one right here, which is this one. Oh, Downton. Now, admittedly um i was unsure about this book then normally if i see a book i normally purchase it myself and i had mentioned this to mark and i wasn't sure if i was going to purchase it purely because i think the recipes would be you know sort of very intricate because it it's that old style type of cooking and these days we're all about, oh, what can we do in 30 minutes? What can we cook in 20 minutes? What can we cook with inside an hour? And I believe that some of these recipes were going to take longer than an hour, or a lot of these recipes were going to take longer than an hour to prepare. And I just wasn't sure how feasible um, it was. Um, I've seen a couple of recipes. I'm not sure if I'm going to try them, but the book itself is so lovely. Um, and... If your mother is into Downton Abbey or watch Downton Abbey, this as well is a perfect um, book. I mean, some of the pictures in here are, you know, you have all these character pictures. Um, let me see if I can see any more. Look at these food pictures. I mean, the book is really heavy. Um, let me just show you the back so you can see some pictures at the back. Um, and yeah the book's really heavy but it's so beautiful there are some really beautiful photographs you can see costumes that they wore in the day i mean there you go there's the downstairs i mean some of the pictures in here are absolutely amazing and it's such a good book if your mother is a fan of downton abbey I mean, there are recipes that she can follow in here if she likes that, or just simply look at the book. Um, and, you know, it's, it's lovely. I'm just looking at some of the pictures. I mean, look at that. It's amazing. Um, I will do another vlog on some of the cookbooks that I do own because I've taken up baking. So um, I'll show that at a later date. But this, a really good purchase. That's if your mother is into Downton Abbey. Um, if you're into Downton Abbey, then it's a good book for yourself. But if you are looking to purchase a book for your mother, 
and you know that she likes Downton Abbey, that's a really good book. Um, I know that Mark's mother likes Mary Berry, so I bought her a few of these books. I'm not this specific one, but there are a few books that were on sale for Mary Berry, and I saw them, and I just thought they were perfect. So in the past, I have actually bought her Mary Berry books, and she loved them. You know, so like I said, if you know that somebody is into a certain cook, um, a certain baker, uh, if you then those are the books again if you know that they're into certain authors you know like i love um sci-fi books sci-fi fantasy books um and if you know those types of books or if they're into harry potter or if they are into you know twilight or any sort of books that you feel that they may be interested in or you know they love john grisham books or you know judy pickle or any, um, these are just names that i'm throwing out there those are the books you know if you know that that's the type of books that your mother likes to read or cookbooks that she likes to work from then by all means they are great presents books are always a great present especially during this climate you know it we can't go out we can't do anything so we're going to spend time in the kitchen we're going to spend time on the sofa why not be reading a book um or be in the kitchen baking something you know, th these are sort of lovely gifts and lovely thoughtful gifts. Okay, the next one I'm going to go on to is a little bit unusual, but I wanted to show this to you because it was unusual. Now, this is a water bottle that I bought from Psychic Tree. You can see the crystals, the healing crystals in there. And I'm going to tell you what um, this specific one is. Now this was $34.95 and it was free standard delivery and I'll put a link in the description below. Now this is the Bee Water Harmony Glass and um, it's rose quartz and rock crystal. And you know you, you fill it up with water and that's what it promotes. It'll promote harmony um, and you know it's part of the B Waters Love Range, this beautiful 650ml glass water bottle contains rose quartz and healing crystals. The Love Range is all about peace, love and balance and aims to nourish your capacity for love and connection. The glass bottles are different to the plastic counterparts as they have removable chambers, meaning you don't have to buy different bottles to change your favourite healing crystal uh, power. You can just swap the chambers over. So basically, they do a, a glass bottle range and they do a plastic bottle range. Now, with the plastic bottles, you can't um, change the bottom of them. But if you buy this one, you can change the bottom of it. So you can just swap out the crystal and put in the new crystal. And then you just pop it back in and you fill it at the top with water. And that's it. And you, you drink... Um, and it will infuse your water with the healing crystals. So if uh, you want healing crystals, love crystals, all of those types of things, this is such a lovely purchase, I think. But you have to know, is your mother into that type of thing? Um, and if so, then this is the gift for her. Moving on. Um, I like to do online shopping. Now, what I mean by online shopping is, as it is, online shopping, food shopping. And one of the other things that I've done in the past uh, for Mark's parents is when there's been a special event, I like to send them food gifts. Um, and the way that it works in my mind is... Uh, you know, I made the, the sort of things that I would buy them, you know, they, they live in the countryside and I like to buy them sort of like picnicky type things, but a little bit on the um, over the top type of thing. So like, a, I don't know, croissants with um, egg mayonnaise and salmon uh, capers or uh, I don't know, uh, cheeses with um, lovely crackers and things like that. And, you know, just little sort of little finger foods. But 
you know, like a crab meat. And I, I don't mean crab sticks, I mean real crab meat. You know, that they can just sort of dip with different things, different condiments, all of that type of thing. And I just imagine them sitting there at their little, you know, uh, kitchen table and eating these things or going into the garden. They've got a huge garden and enjoying these sorts of things in the garden as summertime approaches or when it's hot weather. And I think those are always lovely little things to have. Another idea, flowers and chocolate, always a winner. I think for birthdays and Mother's Days and any other events, flowers and chocolates go hand in hand. Now these are traditional gifts. The other gifts mentioned are sort of, you know, personalised gifts and things like that. But I personally love flowers and chocolates. I love flowers, chocolates, cakes, all of that type of thing. Um, and if you order in time, you can get your slot. Now, um, there's only one really that I'm going to recommend um, because I've tried others and they don't do as good a job, I've got to say. Now, Marks and Spencers, their flowers run from about £20. If you order them a good while in advance, I think the date has gone now, but um, on selected flowers, they were doing £5 off on certain selected Mother Day, Mother's Day flowers. Now, I think that's a brilliant deal and it's free delivery. It's free delivery. So you can choose a bunch of flowers for £20 and then you can add some chocolates or you can add a stuffed bear or you can add some champagne and add those sorts of things and have them delivered for free, you know. And I just think that's such a good idea and such good value in the sense that if you just wanted to send flowers for £20 with free delivery, I think is real value for money and it's real, you know, I think it's lovely. To, who wouldn't want to open the door and somebody to deliver you, you know, a box of flowers? Uh, you know, it's just, this. it's lovely. So I can't recommend Marks and Spencers highly enough for the flowers. Um, there's also another thing that I wanted to mention, which is, um, it, does your mother like to watch TV? How about a Netflix subscription? Now, if you don't know anything about what your mother likes, but you know she likes to watch TV, and that's probably the only thing you may know, then you can't go far wrong than with a Netflix subscription. Um, and the good thing about the Netflix subscriptions, you can buy one month, you can buy two months, you can buy ten months, you can buy a year, you know, and there it is. You, it, it, again, as expensive or as inexpensive as you want it to be. Now, if you do buy a month and, and then your mother decides, oh, do you know what, I want to buy, you know, another month or a month after that, then she can because she's already had her month. Now... You can go on to Amazon and purchase that and it can be sent straight to her email and then all she has to do is access that and then she can just um, tune it into her TV. That's if she has a smart TV or if she has a tablet or a smartphone because you can watch them on your TV, your tablet, your smartphone. You, you know, as long as you have a smart TV, then you can watch Netflix. And I really do think that that is a good idea. I've bought Netflix, and my mum watches Netflix now. She watches that all the time. Um, and she really enjoys it. Mark's parents also have it, but they don't really watch it. Um, and so they watch it every now and again because th there may be a film, or Mark may remind them, oh, you know, you've got Netflix. And then they'll watch something. But it doesn't automatically, for them, come to mind because there's so many other things to do. So they only watch it every now and again. But my mum watches it all the time. That she really gets use out of that Netflix. So again, it, it's as expensive or it, as inexpensive as you want to make it. Now, I'm talking about all of these these places. I don't get endorsed. So don't think for one minute, oh, she keeps talking about Marks and Spencers or she's spoken about Fortnum and Mason or she's spoken about Regency Hampers or she's spoken about Fragrance Direct. I don't get any uh, endorsements from... Uh, you know, I don't, we, we don't get paid for anything like that. 
this is purely from my experience that I am recommending these because they are tried and tested because I've ordered from these people in the past um, and now I, I still order from them now so and I still look on their websites but everything that I've mentioned website wise where I've ordered certain things from I will put in the link I'll put the link in the description below um, and hopefully you know you might find some ideas yourself of different things especially from the psychic tree because at the psychic tree they have so many different elements um that you can choose from so many different things so you don't necessarily have to choose you know this water bottle you, there are other things that you can choose uh, fragrance direct so many perfumes that you can choose from there you know it, it's quite a lovely website to have a look at um you know all of these sort of ideas are just to give you a starting point so you can go to these websites and choose the more appropriate thing for your mother these are only examples that i've just thrown out there in the hopes of giving you a good idea or a light bulb moment or anything like that um so yeah on to the next one so keeping with that online shopping idea Another idea is a hamper. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a food hamper. It can be a pamper hamper. Um, now, as with hampers, you can, um, you know, order one online. Um, there are a couple of good places that I can recommend. Regency hampers, um, M&S hampers, Marks and Spencer hampers, ham hampers, hampers and they do really nice hampers so uh, there's regency uh one and they sort of run at different prices there was one that i ordered which was around 35 pounds and then i paid delivery on top of that so it worked out to around 40 pounds and it contained cheeses and crackers and jams and uh drinks and you could swap, there was, there were only, not all elements you could swap in and out. There were only a couple of elements that you could swap in and out. Um, but I've ordered that for my mum before and I've ordered that for Mark's parents before. And again, they really enjoyed it. It wasn't something that they were expecting. But if you wanted to make it even more personable, and I've done this as well before, I have made my own hamper and hand-picked things that I know that they would like um my mum there was one that i made and my mum loves sugar almonds um and i popped sugar almonds in there uh i popped two different types the sort of matte pastel color ones and then the gold and silver ones and i put in there like different cheeses and different crackers and you know i put in a truffle cheese from fortnum and mason and you know a uh sort of a jam that i picked up from but it was like a specialized jam like it was a, a champagne jam again from fortnum and mason um i picked up some little uh, boxes of chocolates from marks and spencers and i picked up some of her favorite bits from tesco and i popped them in there because when you talk about luxury or anything like that it's luxury to the person not your idea of luxury what the person's idea of luxury is now a person's idea of luxury could be malted biscuits from tesco it's not your idea so it doesn't uh, the idea of luxury is all relative like a budget a budget is all relative so if you have a budget in mind expensive or inexpensive then you would work to that budget and it's the same with luxury if you like certain things they're luxury a packet of chocolate biscuits luxury you know so you have to think about the person and what is luxury to them what do they like and um the certain things that i chose like i know my mum loves cheese i know my mum loves chocolates she likes grapes uh you know she, there, there are certain things that i know that she likes and hence i then can go and hand pick those things and put them in a lovely hamper and i know she's going to like those things now you could also think about a pamper hamper now my mum would not like a pamper hamper but that doesn't mean that your mother wouldn't like a pamper hamper again you can order one and just have it delivered or 
my suggestion, you hand pick something that you would put in a pamper hamper or you would do a mix and match. So you can put food items and you can put pamper items in there. Now, I know that there are certain things that my mum likes. She likes um, creams with aloe vera in them. She likes certain perfumes. She likes certain creams. Um, and you really have to know what creams or perfumes or things like that that you're going to put in this hamper or give as individual gifts. You don't have to put them in a hamper. You can give them as individual gifts. That being said, you need to know which ones. Now, if I um, was going to do something like a, a, a mix and match, for me, I would do the foods that my mum likes and I'd pop in a cream, I'd pop in um, a perfume um, and a couple of other things, maybe a hand cream, um, maybe a lip balm, but my mum doesn't really use lip balm, so I would probably put in a lipstick. Um, and I know sort of the colours that the colour lipsticks that she likes. She tends to go for reds, so I know I could probably pick a really good red lipstick and pop that in the basket. Now, again, you kind of have to know the sort of things that I, I'm going to keep repeating this through the video. You need to know the sort of things that they like in order to prepare this personalized basket but that's what it is it's a personalized basket now you can use some of these ideas or you can use all of these ideas <clears throat> um if i was to do the personalized basket things that i would put in they now don't judge me but i've got a chocolate here and i've already eaten one because they're so delicious but in hotel chocolat they do um, these selectors now they do three for ten pounds if you um, pick three of these that's three for ten pounds now you can put them all in one basket however if you are like me I buy for three people I'll buy for my mother Mark's mother and my and my godmother Let me... so that's three chocolates right there one basket two basket three baskets it three baskets there you go that's the three chocolates now, you don't have to get three of the same chocolates. You can mix and match. So it, I know that my mum loves anything with coconut or nuts in. And I know that Mark's mum likes salted caramel. So if I was to go and choose something, I know that I would go and choose salted caramel for Mark's mum. Anything with nuts and coconut for my mum. And my aunt is pretty much the same as my mum. Anything with nuts and coconuts. However, my aunt that I know of doesn't really eat a lot of chocolate she will eat more things like cakes I don't even think she really eats biscuits I've not really known her to eat biscuits she the only things that I've ever really seen her eat are cakes so um but I have an idea for that so we'll come on to that in a moment so yeah so you can sort of pick up these things and pop them in a basket now I know my aunt likes fuchsia lipstick so pink lipstick, bright pink lipstick. So I know I'm safe if I put one of the lipsticks in her basket. Just thoughts that come to your mind and you think, right, I know that she would use this. I know that she would use that. Um, as you heard me mention in that um, description of what I would put in the basket, perfume. Now, I never really advise people to buy perfume. I don't advise people to buy perfume purely because perfume is a personal choice. So unless you know the perfume that your mother uses, I advise you do not get perfume. Because the chances are, and this is not the case for everyone, but the chances are, unless you know the type of scents that your mother likes, then you could spray one, think, oh yeah, that smells nice, buy it in a bottle and she'll say, oh, that's so nice, thank you. And it sits on her dressing table, never to be used. Now, um, this is where you, if you really do want to get her perfume, this is where you need to do a little bit of detective work. Now, um, you, the way that I would do it is, I would say to your father, if that's, this is if you don't live with your mother. The way that I would do it is, You'd say to your father or to a sibling who's still living at home, someone who lives with your mother, and you would say, right, um, can you go into mum's bedroom and check her perfume cabinet? 
and this is what they need to look for they need to look for a bottle that is almost empty or half empty there's no point in looking at bottles that are full because for several reasons <clears throat> if they've got a full bottle they don't need another one or if they've got a full bottle it's probably because somebody gave it to them as a gift and they don't like it or they don't want to use it and so now it's just sitting there full never to be used <clears throat> so the thing that you're looking for is a bottle like this so not much in it you know that they use it you know that this is something that they like now there's also another reason that i'm showing you this specific size <clears throat> There's a method to my madness. Now, if it is going to be a dressing table perfume, by all means, buy a large bottle if you want to. It's as, like I said, it's as economical as you want to make it. So, if it's a large bottle, so when I say large bottle, I'm talking about 75 mils, 80 mils, 100 mils, those are your larger sizes then by all means, if it's just going to sit on her dressing table and she's going to spray every now and again, perfect. Get her the uh, bottle that belongs on the dressing table. Um, if she likes to go out and she wants to put a little perfume in her handbag, she's not gonna put a big perfume in her handbag, right? She's not gonna put this size of perfume in her handbag. What she will do is spray it and then put it back on her dressing table. What you want to buy her is the handbag size. Dressing table size, handbag size. Handbag size is normally 30 mils and under. This is what she's going to put in her handbag. This is what she's going to keep on her dresser. So if you want, like I said, as expensive or as inexpensive as you want, it, as you want to make it. Now, if you want to buy her the both, that's perfect. And you can say to her, well, this one is to keep on your dressing table and this one is to keep in your bag. Because before you go to a party, not that we're going to a party anytime soon, but when things calm down and we are able to go back out and we're going to go to a restaurant or we're going to go to someone's house or we're going to an event or anything like that, you will spray this, you know, oh, I'll have a, oh, you know. And um, that is what you'll use before um, you go out. While you are out, after it's faded, after a little bit, you're going to pull this out your handbag and you're going to go, oh, I think, oh, and then you're going to close it up and you're going to pop it back in your handbag. That is the point of the 30 mil size, is to have, you know, in your bag, you can pull it out at random. Now, if you want to i don't know if they're still doing it but superdrug were doing this deal mark's mother said she wanted some perfumes now she asked for perfumes that she doesn't have and she didn't know what type of perfumes that she would like so i had to think about what type of perfumes could i send her because it's very difficult because like i said perfumes or aftershaves if you're buying for your father, it's the same principle. It's a very personal thing. Now, um, you can spray something and it smells nice to you. And it could smell nice to your mother. But it's a different smell when it's on the skin. Okay? So, when it mixes with your own scent, it becomes a different scent. So, you have to think about um, what she likes and the type of scents that she likes. That's why it's always best to check and go to her dressing table and have a quick route around and see which ones. Now, because Mark's mother had asked for something that she didn't know herself, I had to really think, wow, okay, what is it she likes? Now, I know her favourite perfume is Eden. Eden is a very old perfume and it's by Cacherelle. And I had to think about... If she likes if she likes Eden by Cacherelle, she may like other scents that Cacherelle produce. 
Um, so the other scents that they produce are like things like Noah, Lulu, uh, Anayane or Anais Anais, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, and Eden. Now, in Superdrug, they were doing a really good deal. I think it was like a two 30 ml bottles for something like 20 pounds or 15 pounds something like that so i bought her four perfumes i think it was all by cacherelle all different ones and i bought her bought her bought her all 30 mils so they're all handbag sizes and what my intention is or was is for her to spray them choose one and then i would buy her the larger bottle therefore she would have one for her dressing table and one for her bag she still hasn't chosen yet, so I'm just waiting for her to choose which one she likes. If any, she might not like any of them. Uh, and yeah, so that was the idea behind that. Now, I know the perfumes that my mum likes, so that for me is quite easy. And my mother's quite vocal, so she'll tell me, oh, I really like that perfume, or I really like that perfume, or I really like that cream, or I really like this so it it can be really easy sometimes to choose something for my mother but even sometimes i get it wrong um and i might choose something that's different um and she'll look at it and she'll go oh thanks but i know that type of thing oh oh you look at oh oh yeah thanks and then it's gonna stay there and then it's not gonna be used and i'm like oh so um i really try to get these things right um so moving on from the perfumes um another thing that you can do and this is a bit cheeky so it depends on how cheeky that you want to be now when i buy creams like face creams normally if i buy a clarins or something like that you get a little free bag how pretty is that bag and I know this is my mum's style of bag. And I know Mark's mum would like this type of a bag. And I know my aunt would like this type of bag. This type of a makeup bag, wash bag, whatever you want to call it. I know that all three of them would like this. Now, um, what I've done in the past is I've sort of had a bag like this. And then I, I'll put my mum's perfume. So um if she if there's a perfume that she's requested and i have one of these lying around i will buy the perfume and pop the perfume in the bag and then i'll put a few other things like i don't know my mum doesn't wear mascara but she wears lipstick um if i know of a certain powder i'll pop the powder in as well now if you if you are trying to be economical and in this climate I can totally understand um, being economical. So if you have one of these, this is perfect because it was free. Okay, what is inside this goodie bag? Now, I, as a woman, we always carry our bag with us. Wherever we go, we carry a little bag. We can't fill that bag with so much stuff. We can't fill it with, you know, giant bottles of perfume and, you know, large tubs of hand cream or face cream or large powders and large mirrors and this that and the other so a compact mirror i don't have one in here but a compact mirror is great pop that in the bag whenever you go to the shop do you get samples who's going to be mad about tiffany sample if you're if you're carrying a tiny bag if your mother is carrying a tiny bag to somewhere She's not going to even be able to fit a 30 ml bottle in there. But a little Tiffany sample, you're not going to be mad about that. You're not going to be mad about getting a little Tiffany sample. Especially during this climate and especially with finances being the way that they are. Then a bag of this sort of thing is a godsend. Especially if you're, you know, if she's going to go away on, let's say, a, a night away. She's only going for one night. She doesn't want to bring a big wash bag and a big suitcase and a big this and a big that you can fill it with little things i mean these in the bag these little samples came with it and um i gave this to my mum she was so pleased with it just two little samples and i popped a little lipstick in there and i popped other little miniatures in there little miniature face creams little look just and these were little samples that i just picked up from other places and she really liked it now um when i stay in hotels if they've got really good you know sort of toiletries elemis 
you know, a little Elemis shampoo, a little Elemis shower gel, nobody's going to be mad about that. They are so handy. I see people going and buying travel size things in Superdrug and in, and in boots and in other, you know, in the airport. They're buying travel sizes. You can get these in the hotel. Get these in the hotel and don't bother buying the travel sizes because they're right here. Now they're right in the little bag and you know an inexpensive gift inexpensive gift full of little miniatures and you can buy a few little miniatures you can buy like mini mascaras mini eyeliners you know mini lipsticks mini rouges mini powders all of that type of stuff and all in a little bag and then you know obviously she's not going to take this bag out i mean this is to take to travel but in her little handbag in her little handbag and you know i have my aunt my godmother she loves handbags she loves handbags i bought her a handbag once and she used it for you she used that handbag until it broke and she packed it. she had a brush in there and she had this in there and she she managed to pack it all in this and th the bag was only about that big and she could put it on her shoulder and it'd be like really small just underneath her arm but she loved it she loved this little bag so when you think about things and you think about people and you think about their personalities and you think about the things that they might like because it's not about what you like it's about what they like so when you think of that about these things you think oh do you know what yeah she's gonna like this she's gonna like that at the moment i'm into all of these organic ranges at um uh super drug sorry a super drug or boost or any other chemist um it's just that Superdrug and Boots are quite popular, so those are the two, those are my two go-to uh, uh, places when I buy things like this. Now, um, at the moment, in Boots, they're doing this three for two, and in Superdrug, they're doing a third off one. So, you know, you buy two of these, you're getting one free, or if you just want to buy one, you're going to get a third off in Superdrug, you know? Um, and these are great. I mean, if you know that your mother likes cream and these are the sort of facial creams that she's going to like, one is for day and one is for night. Three for two, you, and it's mix and match. It's not only on this. So if there's a facial wash, if there's a skin toner, you know, if there's this and that, three for two. Lovely, lovely um basket filler lovely and you don't even have to have a basket you can fill up a box you can fill up you know a bag and these are all lovely gifts to pop in there now whenever i go out if i see something like this i always pick one up um but i'll only pick one up if there's a deal so these were five pounds and they in um where i went i think they were doing they were five pounds each or three for ten pounds well that's buy two get one free so of course i bought three and again if you have to buy for three i mean you can just save them and then every year or every event you just pop one in a box or pop one in a bag or pop one wherever and it's really great it's great as a scarf and it's great as a face covering you know these are perfect gifts but you have to know the person's style you have to know the person's taste um before you go out and buy one of these if you don't know their taste and if you don't know what they would like don't buy one only buy them if you have sort of like a person in mind or you think they're going to come in useful at some point um another thing that i think is really good and is inexpensive is baking for christmas um i just thought i would love to bake a load of cupcakes and go and do a doorstop visit to, to the people that i want to drop off cakes to and that's what i did so i baked cupcakes for my cousins i baked cupcakes for my aunt i baked cupcakes i baked my mum a cake um you know and that that's the sort of thing that i did now i i had basically last year um, I had gotten into baking. I've always been into baking, but last year was the first time that I'd actually had the time to dedicate to baking. So what I did, I thought, you know what, I'm going to just bake some cupcakes. So I baked a 
pineapple and coconut cupcake i baked a lemon and white chocolate cupcake and i baked a uh cherry cupcake i think uh, i can't remember if it's cherry or if it was orange cupcakes but i believe it was cherry cupcakes so i baked all of those um and i handed them out as gifts and i bought these little boxes i'm going to show you one now so i did boxes of four and boxes of six and I pop them in boxes like these and I just did doorstep visits and I dropped them off to people people that I hadn't seen for a while um, I hadn't seen my aunt for a while and I dropped that off to her and you know I hadn't seen my uh, my aunt for a while I dropped some off to her another cousin I dropped them off to and I just did doorstep visits just dropped them off and they loved them they really enjoyed these cupcakes that I made so much so that when my other cousin went to visit his mum, he said there was only one left. He said, I don't know what happened to them all. There was only one cupcake left. I was like, oh, I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah, and again, that's another really lovely idea. Just to bake a cake. Um, at Christmas, I baked my mum her favourite, which is a cherry and almond cake. Um, and yeah, she really loved that cake. Um, and she ate the whole cake to herself i did it with a cream cheese topping and with the glacier cherries on the top it was really delicious uh and yeah she she pretty much ate the whole thing um let's quickly go back to the perfume idea there is a um a website and it's called fragrance direct and they do really good deals on perfumes um uh Superdrug also do really good deal on perfumes and sometimes but not as often boots do now There is a little trick with both with Superdrug and with uh, Boots if you have the boots card or if you have the Superdrug card and you've saved points You can buy and you've built up points throughout the year. You can buy a perfume with those points now I haven't bought a perfume with the Boots points for a very long time, but I believe if you purchase with your points, it has to be the whole points have to cover the one item. So you couldn't, let's say, pay half with points and half with cash. No, you need enough points on your card to purchase the whole perfume. Um, but if you do have enough points to purchase the whole perfume, that's a free perfume. If you have enough points to purchase a whole um, makeup package, makeup set that you know that your mum's been eyeing up for a very long time, then those points are going to come in useful because it's free. You know, those points equates to a free gift. Um, I love saving up points throughout the year because then I can just purchase them or spend them on something that I want. The, um, Sainsbury's and Tesco do the same thing. And they both... I think, believe they both sell perfume. Um, obviously, you have to go to the bigger stores. Um, but yeah, Tesco, uh, Sainsbury's, you know, any of them types of shops. Shops where you have points cards, you just build them up and then you can purchase, you know, uh, a gift. And it's free. Free. A free gift. I mean, you can't get more economical than that. There is a catch to all of those because you have to have spent money in order to gain the points or you know you have to spend money to get the samples or i mean i don't know if you can be cheeky enough and just go oh have you got any samples i knew someone who used to do that they used to just go oh have you got any samples and then you know sometimes people would just be kind enough and put a bag of samples and hand them over to you i mean if you can get something like that that's brilliant because then you can just put all the best samples along with gifts or along with your cupcakes or along with your cake that you've baked and that's perfect now moving on from baked goods um another idea is afternoon tea i love afternoon tea but not everybody loves afternoon tea but if you know that your mother likes afternoon tea you can recreate an experience in her home now if you don't live with your mother and you're not in her support bubble or anything like that you can still create that experience for her 
Now, again, you can just buy the afternoon tea. Um, I know that Cutter and Squidge are doing an afternoon tea. Um, I'm not sure if Valerie Patisserie is doing an afternoon tea, but if they are, I will put a link in the description. But with but you could also do it as a mix and match. So, I mean, I know with Cutter and Squidge, they do the scones, they do the little cakes, they do the clotted cream and the little jams and things like that. Now, what you could do if you wanted to make it a bit more economical, you could um, make your own sandwiches. And this is the way that I would do it if it was me. Now, I have done two afternoon teas, one for Mark's birthday and one for Valentine's Day. And I bought, uh, I bought some donuts uh, from Donut Time. I'll put a link in the description and I'll also link a video to both uh, one of the Donut Times that Taste Corner that we've done and to both of the afternoon teas that we've done. So you can check those out and see how I've done those. Now, what you can do is you get your bread, you, you can cut the crust off or you can leave the crust on. You can cut them in triangles, you can cut them in half. However you see fit to do your sandwiches, you can do that. You can even switch it up and do wraps you can do toasted sandwiches, you can do anything creative that comes to your mind and you can, if as long as you know that it's the fillings that they like, as long as you know that they enjoy an afternoon tea, as long as you know, um, you know, that this is, this is, as long as you know that this is their cup of tea, then it's perfect. I really, really think that recreating an afternoon tea is so lovely and you know you, you sit there and you drink your little cup of tea and you have your little finger sandwiches and then you're going to move on to your little scones with your clotted cream and your jam or you know lemon curd even or anything like that and then at the top you're going to have your little you know your little sample cakes that you're going to eat now you can make the little cakes you can make mini cupcakes and you can do the little mini tartlet cases and fill them with uh, creme anglaise and then put like a little blueberry on top or cut, uh, cut off the end of a little strawberry and pop that on top and things like that so you can do them yourselves or um you know you can make profiteroles and put a couple of profiteroles at the top as well um that is purely up to you or if you want to you can buy them buy them cutter and squidge do a selection pack they do a selection pack of biscuits um, and little macarons and all of that type of stuff and they run about 15 or 20 pounds some of them 25 pounds depending on the sizes that you want um, and yes there is a delivery charge unless you order a certain amount and then there isn't a delivery charge and all of that sort of thing but again I will link it down in the description below however if you decide that you are going to order something online and you're going to order it to your parents address because there's no point in ordering it to your address unless you're going to do a doorstop visit um but if you can if you want to order straight to them and then you can video call or talk over the phone or sort of anything like that then make sure you order it in good time there's nothing worse than thinking oh you, you know i've got plenty of time and then you know a few days before you get online and you go to order everything's sold out everything's gone it's done it's dusted try to order in advance try to you know forward plan that's what i do because there's nothing worse than something that you you've got had in your mind and it doesn't come to fruition so i really advise make sure you book these things early make sure you get these things done early the earlier the better um and then you have your little slot the next thing um that i wanted to talk about is they have this dine-in uh, menus or in all of these um, food stores. So in Marks and Spencers, in Asda, in Tesco, in Sainsbury's, in Waitrose, they have all of these dine-in options. And um, I really like them. I mean, you can buy a meal, like a starter main dessert side and drink, and it's like 20 pounds and it's for two people. I mean, they do, uh, you know, one for a family of four, one for a family of two and all of that type of stuff. Now, you don't really want your mum to cook on Mother's Day, it's her day. So my advice 
is one of two things. You buy the menu and you cook it at home and you do a doorstep visit. Or you cook a, a, speciali a speciality dish of your own that you know your mother likes and you bake a big one because you're baking for you're baking you're cooking for two people you're cooking for your father and you're cooking for your mother or you may just be cooking for your mother you may just be cooking for your father maybe your father was your mother and your father at the same time you know it, it, it's these sorts of things you have to think about um and you can cook whether it's going to be a lasagna whether it's going to be a shepherd's pie whether it's going to be uh you know a three course meal maybe there's something in a Jamie Oliver book that you've seen and or or a you know a Gordon Ramsay book or a Mary Berry or a Nigella or a Nadia any any favorite cooks that they have or any favorite chefs that they have and you've seen a recipe and you want to attempt that recipe go ahead attempt that recipe cook that meal drop do a doorstep visit and you know drop off that that meal <clears throat> on the other hand if you don't want to cook and you don't want your mum to cook, then take away, order a takeaway. You've got delivery room, you've got just eat, you've got all of these, you know, places that you can just phone up and have them deliver. Or you can actually ring the places direct. Some of these places were delivering way before delivery room and just eat. And I think some people forget that. I think the simplicity of just eat and delivery room is that it's all there in one place and you can just choose the restaurant. <clears throat> but you can equally ring that Chinese restaurant, ring that Indian restaurant, ring that pizza place, you know, um, and order these things and have it delivered. Um, and it will be more economical. However, if you want to order from a specific restaurant and they don't have their own delivery service, but they do on Deliveroo or they do on Uber Eats or they do on Just Eat, then you will have to go to there and you can order whatever it is or you can go to the restaurant or you can go to you know the takeaway place that their favorite takeaway place and you purchase it and you bring it over there and do a doorstop visit see these are all ideas and like i said as expensive or as economical as you want to make them but these are all ideas that you can you know implement and create if I was to do an afternoon tea and I was going to do sandwiches, I have to think about what are the fillings that my mum likes. Well, yeah, I know she likes, you know, ham and cheese and she likes chicken and all of that type of stuff. But I, I know that she would rather have something hot than an afternoon tea. That doesn't mean to say that your mother wouldn't like an afternoon tea. But you really have to think about the ingredients. Is she vegetarian? Is she vegan? Is she pescatarian? Is she a meat eater? If you're doing it for two, for, for the pair of them, for your parents, is your dad a, I don't know, a vegetarian or vegan and your mum's a pescatarian? Or is your dad a meat eater and your mother is a vegan? You know, again, because it's personalised, you can personalise that. You can take control of that. You're not entrusting it to anybody else. You're taking control of it. And that's what I love about personalised gifts. Things that you've really thought about. Things that come from the heart. Not to say that if you went out and bought something it didn't come from the heart. Of course it did. But sometimes when you've put that little effort in. It sometimes, not all the time, but it just sometimes means that little bit more. So I hope these gift ideas have helped you. I would really like to know your thoughts um i've like you know on the other vlogs i've had conversations with you guys and i really like it when we have a little conversation we have a little chat and we talk about you know whatever subject it is so i would really like to know your thoughts do you have any ideas that are different do you have any more economical or more expensive ideas i mean there are plenty of expensive ideas that we you know you can go to fortnum's you can go to harrods you can go to selfridges but do you have anything that is mid-range or more economical that would fit into this genre i would really like to know your thoughts um it'd be great and I can convey and I'll try and sort of catch up with you and we can exchange ideas. Now, I want to talk about the next vlog. The next vlog, I'm going to talk about travel. 
will be coming out of lockdown at some point and um what would be good is to talk about travel um and to talk about the way that i like to book holidays i try to make them um as economical as possible i'm all about finding a bargain and i'm all about value for money so um i'm definitely going to talk about travel and the travel that I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk in general about how I book holidays and how I try to find the best deals but you know I've spoken to some people and um you know if I say oh I'm going to Vegas and they're like, oh Vegas I really want to go to Vegas oh, I'm, I love it you can you can go economically to Vegas you know you don't need all these bells and whistles and things like that and I'm going to show you and share with you um you know tips on how to get the best deal um and if the if Vegas is one of the places that you would like to go to I'm going to show you how you can um get to Vegas uh Mark and I went for 10 nights and we paid 754 pounds I believe it was that was for 10 nights and that included hotel and transportation and flights you know less than a thousand pounds for 10 nights in vegas and that was the hotel the flights and the transportation come on um these holidays to grab them at great prices are out there um and that's what we're going to talk about in our next vlog so if you would like to keep up with any of the new videos please hit that subscribe button and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up um, we really enjoy making these videos and that sort of thing really helps out the channel in so many ways. So I hope you like this uh, video and uh, catch you in the next vlog. And remember, you're never too old to have fun. Bye for now.